Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the world event. Uh, Emerald Encounter, I think the name of it is. Um, I got two spell damage teams and a skull team for y'all that like the funny teams. Um, we got uh, here in this first one, this is hey, if you have access to everything... Uh, this would be the team that would you, you would use, and then I have an Epic and Under team for everybody that doesn't have all the Mythics and stuff. And then I have a Skull team for people that like the funny teams. Alright, so we got Queen, Beatrix, Vinoxia, Face Stick, and uh, Leprechaun. So our restriction was like green War Masters and Generators or something like that. So we only had access to green troops, but luckily those include Queen Beatrix, Vinoxia, Marilith, and uh, King Gobtruffle. So if I were you, I'd pick a combination of those and make a team out of that. Like always, this is just an idea. You can mix and match these teams. Um, the weapon here, if you don't have Face Stick, there's War and Peace, which everybody in the game has. So just replace it with War and Peace. Simple. If the first thought you had was, I don't have Face Stick. Well, War and Peace would be a, a perfect, uh, easy um, replacement there. And I don't even know if I like Face Stick that much. It was just, um, it had some mana generation, and it was using brown. Uh, Wild Queen's making brown. Um, Leprechaun's blowing up green. Uh, Queen Beatrix and Vinoxia are making green. Um, the whole team is synergetic, and that's why I did it. You could also do Essence of Evil, you got Doomed Glaive, you got War and Peace, you got, um, uh, Summer's Wonder, I think it's called. Anything that hits all enemies, uh, the, the, the Fae Staff or whatever it's called. You could use any of those. The only reason I did the Fae Stick is because it actually explodes some gems, and it hits multiple enemies, and it uses brown, which the Queen Beatrix makes. So I'm always trying to make my teams as synergetic as possible and take advantage of any kind of, uh, you know, mana spawn or mana generation. So, yeah, I got Queen Beatrix at the top. Would I continue to do that late, late, late? I don't know. But uh, for now, it's working fine. You, um, you know, you, get, you have your Explode Potion. You have your Enchant Potion, uh, most likely. And so usually that's just going to get up your Queen Beatrix, you cast it, you win, it's true damage, you got a spell and skull damage metal, so you want to take advantage of that spell damage most likely, unless you want to make a funny skull team, that's fine with me, I mean, we're here to have fun, we're playing video games, right? But yeah, if you just want to get through the event as quickly as possible and use like the best team, use something like this, so Queen Beatrix, Phenoxia, Face Stick, Leprechaun, Leprechaun, Empowered Exploder if you don't get up off your potions. Uh, Queen Beatrix True Damage. It makes a bunch of green and brown and has a chance at an extra turn, so you want to cast that first. Phenoxia makes blue and green, so that'll get up your Queen Beatrix if not. And then Face Stick, if it, it'll absorb all the brown. It, it hits multiple enemies, like three of them, and it blows up a color that you can choose, kind of. Choose the enemy's color it blows up. Choose like a green enemy, maybe. And uh, you'll explode, and you'll get everybody else up. So everything on the team has mana generation, and three of them hit multiple enemies. Two of them being true damage, so I think that's one of the best ways you could go. Here is a team that uses um, Epic and Under. Uh, we got Merilith, Shocktopus, um, War and Peace, and Leprechaun. So if you have Face Stick, you could use it here as well. War and Peace does hit pretty hard, though, so... Uh, pretty much your main damage dealer on this team, but Shocktopus, if they, if the enemy, if you look over at the enemy team real quick, and they all use the same color, like green happens quite a bit, um, you could cast Shocktopus on green and kill them all in one shot. It's, it's the strongest if you, if the enemy ha uses all the same color, you want to use Shocktopus. If they do not use the same color, you want to use, uh, War and Peace. And if, um, you need, a uh, more mana generation, you want to use Merilith. Merilith doesn't hit very hard, but she does do true damage, she does have a spell damage metal, and um, she does explode or destroy when she does do that true damage to all enemies, so she'll get everybody else up. Um, Leprechaun, I think, is a must for this event. I think Doomed Glaive is a really good weapon for this event, like I was saying in my spoiler or my um, scoring video, one of the two, I can't remember. Doomed weapons that hit all enemies and convert to a skull are going to be really good when you have skull and spell damage metal because it does both so um doomed glaive would be good here as well i think uh if you want to do gob truffle gob truffle doomed glaive leprechaun or something like that would be a great idea um 
but true damage usually the way you want to go because then you don't even have to you don't even have to hit their armor at all you're hitting all enemies for true damage you don't have to worry about their armor so that cuts them in half automatically you got a spell damage metal which gives you 100 percent extra spell damage on top of that so all you have to do is get rid of their hp so queen beatrix Venoxia was the ones i was looking at but king gob truffle could loop them down if you want to go super deep and uh, you could do something like uh, King Gob Truffle, King Gob Truffle, Doomed Glaive, Leprechaun. We don't have access to Mirage Queen or King Averon, so you'd have to do Leprechaun once again. That troop, I think, is going to be on every single team, no matter what. Leprechaun. I mean, if you can use Leprechaun, why not? And Powered Exploder that blows up green, the color we need. So if your team doesn't have Leprechaun on it, consider uh, replacing something with Leprechaun. If you're a low-level player, consider using Merilith. If you're a high-level player, Doomed Glaive, Queen Beatrix, King Gob Truffle, something like that. But I do have a funny Skull team for you coming up for those of you who want to do something different. I know this gets boring and you want to tr do something else sometimes. For me, I just want to get the events over with, like the world events at least, because they're kind of, I don't know, I don't like them that much. They're kind of just convoluted and stupid. Plus, we got Guild Wars all week, and then you have another event this weekend. We got a busy, busy week, so if you're trying to make the the events take longer just because you want to do a funny skull team i mean i don't know what you're doing but go for it i guess but here it is just in case um trying to try to help even though you know no uh skull team right here i just used the best skull troops that there were i almost made my green guild wars team here if i had access to the possessed king this would be my exact uh guild wars my green guild wars team but I guess uh, Possessed King is not a um, generator or a war master. He must be something else because he wasn't available. So we're using uh, Lord of Slaughter, Apothecary, Doomed Glaive, and the Wild Queen. I got uh, Lord of Slaughter on the top for that Savage Strike. I got the Apothecary in second so it can get up quicker and uh, make a bunch of brown for either the Wild Queen or the uh, Lord of Slaughter. Lord of Slaughter in that, or the Doomed Glaive. Like, the Apothecary makes brown for every troop on our team which it looks like we don't need that but you do um lord of slaughter will need brown to make his spell hit more consistently um doomed glaive will need brown to set up alignment for its uh, its skull conversion and uh wild queen uh, get, uses brown to get up so yeah this would be my skull team my funny skull team if you want to use funny skulls and, uh, yeah, Lord of Slaughter, Apothecary, Doomed Glaive, and Wild Queen. Be careful, because it you might get back, uh, you know, backfire with this one. That's why we do spell damage. And that's why we do Gob Truffle or Queen Beatrix. So, it's safer. And it's faster. So, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see you in a little bit for the weekly preview. Peace.